Hey Sarah, this one's for you. I just wanted to recap 2017 for you because this was the worst and the best year for you. The year began with you in Vegas per usual with your family celebrating the new year. You were so excited to get a fresh new start because so many things were going to be happening for you in the beginning of that year that you were super excited about. In 2017, you were finishing up your senior year as dance team captain. You had dance recitals and competitions, and no matter what happened with you and your team, you guys always were a family in the end. You will never forget about those people on your dance team, no matter where you go in life. They will always be a part of you, no matter what. They made your four years of high school the most memorable years of your life. You continued to support them at any event that they performed at. You went to all the football games. You were there at the football kickoffs. You were there at basketball kickoffs. You tried to make any event that you could to support them. And you felt like the most proud mom ever because they kicked butt this year. You attended all these senior events like Senior Luau, Senior Sunrise, Grad Night, and many more. You ended up graduating with a 4.0 GPA your senior year and you were so proud of yourself and still are because that is something you did not accomplish through high school. You not once got a 4.0 GPA and you were super, super stoked when you heard that you did your senior year. This year you also turned 18 which made you an adult and actually was quite scarier than you thought. With that you also got your first job at TJ Maxx and that was also very nerve wracking as well. In the beginning you weren't a big fan of it because you were the new girl and you were really nervous about starting your first job there because you kind of fell out of place but eventually you ended up loving it and making so many friends. After graduation you went to New York and you were super stoked because you've always wanted to go to New York and you loved the city. Even though you were sick you overcame all of that and enjoyed yourself as much as possible. You also got into your dream college, Cal State Fullerton. Even though it's just a Cal State, you were super excited because your mom went there and you wanted to follow in her footsteps. Going to Cal State Fullerton made you meet the most amazing group of boys ever. You were so happy that you met them because they made your first semester of college the most amazing it could have ever been. They were there for you through your ups and your downs and always supported you. Taking a pause on all of this happiness and excitement, your ex was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer. Also, your grandma was diagnosed with liver cancer as well. This took a major turn on your life more than you could have ever imagined. It's something that nobody really understands how it feels unless you're going through it as well. It's one thing to, to see the one that you love hurting so much and having multiple of those people in your life hurt so much. This experience at 18 years old really impacted your life. It puts you through the worst three months of your life and I know that sounds crazy but it really did put you through a lot. You were always wanting to be supportive 100% of the time and spent majority of your time in the hospital. You went into depression and anxiety and you are still continuing to deal with that, but you're getting better. You hit 18,000 subscribers in 2017 and that completely blew your mind. The video that helped you gain a lot of subscribers was your back to school haul and you still don't even understand why because it's just a haul, but you couldn't be more excited about all the people that you have supporting you and loving you and watching your videos every day and every week and it's something you're going to be in shock with for such a long time but this has come like this has become a part of your career that you are just so excited about and even though some days you feel like you shouldn't be filming or you're too lazy you still need to pick up the camera and film with YouTube, you've got to partner with so many different brands like Forever 21, Romwe, Windsor, and so many more to come. I'm so excited about and I hope I get more chances to collaborate with more brands and partner with them and show you guys what I love and that I just get more opportunities. Sarah, you are also experimenting with the top5.com website because you are the face of them and their videos and you're just trying to kind of move along slowly with that and trying to get everything into place and it could be a little stressful at times but I know you'll make it through. Through all the ups and the downs you've had in the past year, you and your parents have become so much closer than you could have ever imagined. You and your mom have a bond like this and your dad is finally understanding where you're coming from and your mindset and how school can be overwhelming and how just going through everything this year has impacted your life extremely. Sarah, you immediately, like always, turn to all your friends that have been there for you since forever. You have some of the best support systems in your life. Please do not let go of those people in your life that mean the most to you because they will be there forever. And if you push them away, you won't have those people. And I pray to you that you continue being friends with them and letting them in your life. And the one last thing I want to say before I finish is, Sarah, you are so beautiful. Please do not ever forget that. No one should ever make you feel anything less than that because you have done so much. You are always there for your friends and your family and 
you are constantly hustling to be the best you can be and I do not want you to ever think you are not anything less than what you are because you are so amazing and you need to build that confidence this year and I know you can. So with that being said, Sarah, I have a couple questions for you. What major did you pick and why? Currently, you are deciding between a couple. You first went to college thinking you wanted to be a pediatric nurse, then you kind of fell into the psychology and realized you're not very good at psychology, but it's interesting. And now you're leaning towards more of a kindergarten teacher. We can be with kids and teach kids and work with them because you love working with kids. How many subscribers do you have? Because you currently have 18,249 subscribers, which blows my mind that you have that many right now, and I can't wait to see what you have when you finally reread this video and ah! Where have you traveled to? Currently, you've only really been to New York, Florida, Nevada, Las Vegas. That's not really anything exciting, but I hope you do some traveling in the near future because you love to travel and don't ever let go of that. Are you in a relationship? You're currently single, and you're kind of scared to love right now, and you're a little bit nervous where you're at, but I know that everything's going to be okay, and you should be treated like a queen. So if you're in a relationship, I hope that boy is treating you like a queen, because you deserve it, and you deserve nothing less than that. Do you still work at TJ Maxx? Currently, you're struggling going to work because you've been sick for a week after you came back from vacation, but... You are kind of getting tired of your job just because you're getting lazy and you think that YouTube and everything is going to be like your main job, but I'm just curious to see what job you have now in the future. Do you still work there or do you not? Are Vincent and Kennedy still dating? I'm very curious because they've been together for almost two and a half years, probably almost three years now, and that's so crazy because they started dating in like eighth grade and they're so cute together, so I just wonder if they're still together. Are you still dealing with anxiety? Not a lot of people know this about you. You're... Dealing with that still, you're getting a lot better now, but I'm just wondering if anything's in the future going to help you not have any anxiety at all, or are you still dealing with that on some sort of level? Maybe it's not as bad as it is now. Maybe it's worse than it is now. I don't know, but I hope you're not dealing with it. I hope you can realize that everything's going to be okay and you just have nothing to worry about. Are you still friends with Shelby Miller, Matthew Garcia, Christina Garcia, and Alex Pennington? Because you should be if you're not what are you doing? Go call them, go text them, because Shelby Miller, for one, has been your best friend for 10 years this year. Matthew Garcia and Christina Garcia have been there for you throughout high school, and Alex Pennington is, like, one of your ultimate best friends, and you love him to death, and you guys should never not be friends because you guys are meant to be in a friendship and always be there for each other because y'all just should not not be friends like you guys are the best like all you guys are like really good friends and i never want to know that you guys are not friends because that'll break past sarah's heart have you graduated college or how many years do you have left i don't know if you're going to be done with college or having a couple more years to go but i'm so curious to see where you are at in life how's mom and dad Mom and Dad are really good right now, actually. We've been a little stressed out with Grandma and Grandpa trying to help them, but for everything that I know, they're doing really great right now. Nothing really wrong is happening. Work is good. Life is good. We just got the house redone, so they're super excited about that. Are you still five feet tall? Probably will still be five feet tall. Maybe I'll shrink in the future. Who knows? But I'm so curious. Have you grown a little bit? Like, are you five in one quarter like what are you I don't know are you still living at home you like to live at home in college right now because you have this big room that's kind of like your filming space and then you're like chilling with but I'm so curious if you're still at home because I know you're scared to move out and living on your own or even living like a roommate I know that's a little bit scary to you but I don't know sometimes that could be a fun experience that you never really thought about are you happy with your life Currently, in the moment, you are so happy with your life. 2017 ended on the best note and 2018 started on the best note. You got two piercings, which was literally out of randomness. Like, you were just like, let's get another piercing. And then you dyed your hair a little bit and you're probably going to go blonder in, like, March. That's so exciting. You're changing your life. You're happy. You're talking to people that you're happy with. You're trying to love again. You're trying to be friends with people, create more friendships. So you're extremely happy right now. What college did Vincent choose from? He is such a, your brother is such a smart person. He can literally go to any college. And I know he's scared to like 
apply for scholarships and stuff, but I'm so curious where he goes because I feel like he could go out of state if he wanted to and get amazing scholarships. I know he wants to go to UCLA just because they're a little bit cheaper than USC, but he could so get into like Berkeley or Yale or something like that. Who knows? All right, Sarah, that was it for me. Um, I will see you in the future. You will be opening this on your 21st birthday. Please do not open it before then. If you do, I'll be really mad at you. So, yeah. Love you always. Don't change for anybody. Bye.